Long years ago, in a humble little village, there lived a fine looking girl named Maria. Some say she was the most beautiful girl in the world. And because she was so beautiful, Maria thought she was better than everyone else. She would not even look at the young men from her village. They weren't good enough for her. When I marry, I will marry the most handsome man in the world, Maria proclaimed. And then one day, into Maria's village rode a man who seemed to be just the one she had been talking about. He was a dashing young rancher, the son of a wealthy rancher from the southern plains. Maria made up her mind. That was the man for her. Before long, she and the rancher became engaged, and soon they were married. At first things were fine. They had two children, and they seemed to be a happy family together. But after a few years, the rancher went back to the wildlife. He would leave town and be gone for months at a time. And when he returned home, it was only to visit his children. He seemed to care nothing for the beautiful Maria. He even talked of setting Maria aside and marrying a woman of his own wealthy class. As proud as Maria was, she became very angry with the rancher. She also began to feel anger toward her children, because he paid attention to them, but just ignored her. And although it is sad to tell, the story says that in her anger, Maria seized her two children and threw them into the river. But as they disappeared down the stream, she realized what she had done. She ran down the bank of the river, reaching out her arms to them, but they were long gone. Maria never went home again, and her husband disowned her. She lived like an animal on the outskirts of town, until she was nothing but skin and bones. One dark, foggy night, she finally threw herself into the river, at the very spot where she had murdered her children. It was only a few days afterwards that Maria reappeared, at the exact spot where she had drowned her children, when it was a dark and silent night. Her voice carried thinly in the wind, calling out, Where are my children? The townspeople no longer spoke of her as Maria. They called her La Llorona, the weeping lady. In her madness and with the passage of time, La Llorona had completely forgotten what her children looked like, so she called out for all children. Whenever she found a child alone in the dark, near the water, she took them. Hey. Don't worry, hon. We're almost there, okay? You just sit tight. I'm gonna have you to your parents' home in no time, okay? Baby, it's okay. Stay quiet. Oh, you lucky dog. Gonna be pussy. Sand. Palm trees after this one. Hey, baby. Next to you, I'm finally gonna be able to quit this shit and get me a new business. A legitimate one, that is. Didn't your parents ever teach you how to look both ways before you cross the street? You could have got us both killed! Help! I need some help. Go get your parents or something! Do something! Your parents! Do you have any parents? I need some help! Hey, hey, wait! Wait a second! I didn't mean to scare you! Get back here!
us a motherfucking dollar spawn just like that. You there? Uh, are you searching for a little boy? Yes. I know where he's at. <laughs> Mister. Mister. Who is? Don't go near you. I, I, I can't can hear you. Go to the door. Go to the door. Mis niños. Mis niños. Mis niños. Did she touch you? I um, don't No. You must never let her touch you. She wants to hurt you. She's just searching for her child. May I help you, senor? Um, I, I need a room for the night. I I was knocking on the door, but nobody responded. If, if it wasn't for this kid, I... Wait a minute. It was just right here. Come with me. I'll show you to your room. This way, senor. This is your room, senor. Will you be needing anything else? No. Actually, I hope you don't mind me asking. Where's Esteban? You know senor Esteban? Yeah, I did a little work for him a while back. Well, sort of. I still haven't quite finished what I was supposed to. Senor Esteban is off with his daughter. Excuse me, did you just say his daughter? Yes, Senora Emery. I thought he only had one daughter. Luciana, I believe her name was. Senor Esteban and Senora Mary have two daughters. One of them is adopted. I see. Well, if you see Esteban, uh, tell him that El Bandido wants to speak with him, please. It's important. Good night, Tio. 
Good night. Please, she's gonna kill me. Shut up! This is all your fault. Please, somebody help me! Please! Please, please don't leave me here. Please. I believe you're in my fucking building. Shouldn't I be the one asking the questions? What the fuck is going on in this place? You don't know, do you? I just I just got into town. Okay, my car crashed not too far from here. I'm searching for a girl. She was traveling with me. Maybe you've seen her. Your lady friend is probably dead by now. What are you talking about? You gotta leave this place at once. Get as far away as you can. Why, is there something I should know? Oh my god. Is 
there a child in there? God. God ignores his place. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Have you lost your mind? Whatever you do, don't open the closet door. I need to know what's going on. As long as you stay away from the river, you'll be safe. Wait a minute. This entire is next to the river. How will I stay safe? You won't. No! Are even more fucked up. Somebody help me. Please, help me. Please. Don't leave me here. Are you the kid that I almost ran over? Are you okay there? I'm scared. There's something in here. Please, can you please open the door? Please. Okay. Your name. Tell me your name. What's your name? Pablo. Okay. How long have you been in there, Pablo? I don't know, that man, he locked me in here. Please, just open the door, please. Okay, tell me where your parents are, Pablo. Your parents, Pablo, I need to know where your parents are. Dead, everyone is dead. Please, help me. Help me, mister, please, open the door, please. Pablo? Please, somebody. 
There is no child. No? No. But, sir, I swear to God, I just heard a child crying in this room. Honestly, I have seen this strange boy running around all night. There must be something to all of this. But people are trying to sleep, young man. It's way past midnight. I bid you good night. Is his boy's name Pablo? If I were you, in the morning, I would catch the next bus out of here. Do you understand me? What? Good night. The Lord completed the world in six days. And that means that faith is not died in these 800 years. Fall asleep until the doctor gets here. Understood?
need some water. I'll see you in with him. Go get it. Hurry up. I'm I'm sorry I I'm sorry I fucked up I I had an accident out the road and the next thing I knew I I was knocked out and Luciana was gone and I I just oh, that that's not important she's in the room upstairs there are bigger matters at hand I need you to do me a favor. This will rectify all of your mistakes. Yes, name it. This bottle. Uh, give it to Luciana. What is it? It's the answer now. It's the answer to everyone's problems. Please, please, do not let the others know I gave it to you. down there.
you stay until morning time with her? Cheers. I don't know if your father told you or not, but your sister ran away a few days ago. And I was hired to find her and bring her back. And I successfully did so. However, on my way here, I had an accident. A little boy. I believe he lives in this place. He jumped right in front of my car. And he caused me to crash. I so should have been more careful or something. Um, you know, yes? You know his parents or something? Do you? There are no children here, Mr. <laughs> okay, but. A little boy, open the door for me to come in here, okay? And I've seen him a lot ever since, just running around the inn, just running around. You know, why, why does everyone keep denying that there's a child in here? I don't, I don't get it. You lie. 
there are any children here? There have never been any children here. Ever. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do It's that. okay. You had a rough night, okay? There are a lot of secrets that this place holds, Mister. Please call me Miguel. Secrets that will eventually reveal the sin of all its inhabitants. You must leave this place for some reason. You will need this more than anyone else. It was either William or Henry James who decreed that all of us belong to one of two categories. Those who believe in ghosts and those who do not wish to believe in them. These admissions may actually be of some significance, for what we fear is not so much the being as it is the unknown surrounding it. That is why this town no longer births any children. La Llorona has robbed them all. That is why I hired you to bring my daughter Luciana back. She is the weeping lady's daughter. We found her body washed up on the river shore. We took her in and raised her like our own, not realizing the curse we were bringing upon our town. She found out my wife and my plan to sacrifice her body and she ran away. As long as she is alive, we will continue to be plagued by that demon's madness. She must die. Bandido, I have taken you into my home and I ask you to perform a simple favor for me. Take the bottle of poison I have given you and place it in my daughter Luciana's water. Please, ease her pain. This must be done as quickly and painlessly as possible. As long as she lives, La Llorona will not rest until we are all dead. That includes you. If you perform this task successfully, you will be greatly rewarded. I have given my daughter Anne Marie a large sum of money. After you complete your task, take her and flee this town of wickedness. If you're wondering why I am asking you to perform such a loathsome task, it's because everyone else is attached to dear sweet Luciana. They cannot stand to see her suffer, let alone kill her. But it must be done. And who better than a thief and a murderer like yourself? Miss Nino. I will come near you. Miss Nino! Miss Nino! Yes. Nino. I'm coming. Nino. I'm coming. Both go check the surroundings of the building. Anne Marie and I will go into the woods. Be careful, my daughter. No! 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 No!
Why are you crying? I want to lose the... Oh no, my sweet daughter, no. Please, please. Is that what it means? No. I feel sick and deeply, deeply in the darkness. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. against the kind of shit we saw in the woods out tonight. Have you ever killed anyone? I never killed anyone that didn't deserve to die. Why all the questioning? Before my father died, he told me that you were going to kill my sister. Is that true? Yes. So you know about your own scars? Would you be able to do it? Kill my sister to leave the curse? Yes. How did you find out about your own? Your father told me. You had a lot of trust in my father, didn't you? A lot of trust in his money. Are you too busy to come? Are you?
<laughs> there it is. I'm not sure. I, I just came up to check on her since I heard her scream. You know, since you guys were in the parking lot. She was alone then? Come on, you. Yeah. I'm not much of a doctor. Just uh, picked up a few things here and there when I was on my missions. Father, she's paler than before. It's getting very bad. Her pulse. It's very weak. Is she dead?
Yes. Let's get out of here. Where's... Somebody tell me what the fuck's going on? Sacrificing his own daughter would fool you, Rona. I already told you. He loved this whore more than his own flesh and blood. He was blinded by lust. By this homewrecker. Do you think this Miguel character has figured out who she is yet? It doesn't matter. He was only in it for the sex and money. I'm sure he's not concerned with what we do to her. If he comes snooping around, I'll just toss him a few bones. He has a thing for Benjamin Franklin. Oh, he won't be coming around anytime soon. I tied him up pretty good. any further. What's come over you? We have to burn Luciana and the boy to break Connors! That's shit! I know Anne-Marie's the one in there. Anne-Marie? What would Anne-Marie be doing in the coffin? I don't know. You tell Over, me. Over, slow down! Slow down. Slow down. Let me 
me explain. We'll make it quick. Anne Marie is La Llorona's daughter, not the other way around. She's the adopted one. So why would Esteban want me to kill Luciana if that's his real daughter? When Esteban took Anne Marie in, he grew more attached to her. She was more than what his real daughter could be. She was his lover. Tell it like it is. He was fucking his adopted daughter. He didn't think I knew. We all loved Anne Marie like our own. But when Esteban suggested we kill Luciana, I forbade it. He thought we could trick Yorona into believing that Luciana was her daughter. We split the family in half. Luciana found out and tried to run away. That's until Sam brought her back. Oh, so you took her from my car? No, I found her wandering aimlessly on the road, and I returned her home. So you see, that's why we have to kill Anne Marie, to rid the town of the curse. We're sorry we lied to you, but we were afraid that you two were falling for her. Consider this your compensation. I should keep it all for you following Esteban's orders and killing my daughter. Open the coffin. We can't do that. The girl must die. Open the coffin now or each of you are going to die right here, right now. <laughs> Take the tape off her mouth. A terrible mistake. Shut your pie hole! Do it now! You're a kid. across the river. What is this shit? Your toilets come. That's what this is. And your rain ends here. Wait a minute. 
A girl who was fucking her own adoptive father is calling me scum? Come on, bitch. Stop playing games. Give me that fucking gun. Who are you? Who are you to judge me? What are you talking about now? You're the one who's playing judge and jury. Now put that fucking gun down. No one in that town was innocent. We all had skeletons in our closets. Especially you. Luciana deserved to die. She was a spoiled brat that had everything spoon fed to her. And it still wasn't good enough for that baby bitch. So what if you step on my lot? Did you ever stop and think what would make a married man want to leave his wife and kill his daughter? He wasn't happy. Even if they had sacrificed me, my brother's soul would still have been out there. Llorona would have never stopped. Fuck her! She tried to take my life once! I wouldn't let it happen again! Okay, alright. I see your point. Now, put the gun down, please. For what? So that you can blow my brains out and take the money? <laughs> blow your brains out? Come on, are you for real? I wasn't born yesterday, Miguel. You stole the money and tried to leave the town without me last night. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Okay, so that's that's what this is all about. Come on, baby. I was just trying to find an escape route so we would escape in the morning. Now please give me the gun. Sorry, Ian. Yeah. This is the last dirty joke you'll ever do. I only fucked you because I knew you were going to fuck me. Oh, trifle it, bitch. How the fuck could Save you- Save it for someone who cares! Oh.